What awaits him down the path, he will then have to choose. No one's gonna give you a map. You've gotta walk your own path. The children leave their homes in search of this quest. What is thy desire? As they search, they are always asking questions. What's out there? What's waiting for me? Why was I made? Who made me? And what did they make me for? I am funny though, so. I think good. On oh, the episodes, I don't know. I might beat you. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. I don't know about that, bro. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the HBCU podcast with the host Hashim, the Dream. You already know what it is, and my co-host. Good advising, good people. Bobby K here. As you see, we have another special guest on the show. Uh, special guest, pretty close homie of mine. Uh, and he's also the new editor of our show as well. My guy, Wale. <laughs> What's good, y'all? Nice to be here. Nice to have so, you, man. Did you not want me to say that part? <laughs> Why you huh? No, no, we got to get props, you. man. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry to give you credit. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I respect you know, it. You're, you're a third exactly. party to the show now. So you, you know, know I like to be low key, you know. Like, I feel you, you know what I'm saying? But you know, how you how you feeling today? Uh like I it's a nice day. Summer's coming to an end officially, so that's unfortunate, but we here, God willing. We I'm on the show finally. I, I yeah. you you I'm only here because you brought up a great topic. So yeah. yes. Yes. And honestly, I feel right. like summer ended. Uh, I feel like once my birthday comes, the summer is pretty much over because oh, no. damn, crazy. damn, bro, damn, <laughs> nah, world, nah. world revolves Listen, around you. Not huh? even on no selfish shit. I'm just saying, uh, like, let's be real though. Out after the first week or so of September, like the weather start wilding. Like it starts either raining. The nights has gotten cold. Like I've gone outside a couple times. Yeah, it's like fifty something degrees. I can see my breath. Why am I seeing my breath in mid September? Like, is is this weather to start getting crazy? I mean, you are in Suffolk. It tends to be cold out there. Oh, here we go. Uh, it, it do. It do. Here we go. Here we it go. do. Here we go. Uh, I don't know. You're, about you're that. part of Long Island too, so I don't know why you acting like it. it don't. I'm be... by Queens. All right. So nah, that's still Long Island. Thank you. Thank Shut you. Up, say, right. say with your chest, Queens and Brooklyn is, chest. is Long Island. What are we talking about? Uh, I don't know about Brooklyn, but Queens for sure. All right, Bobby, hit us with the fun fact. Yes, yeah, so the HBCU fun fact. Uh, I didn't do a specific school today. I just wanted to do an overall one to give love to HBCUs. So uh, 50% of public teachers have gone to a HBCU. So, uh, you know, a lot of the educators and, you know, people who, you know, help with the curriculum and teaching us as, you know, young age, went to an HBCU. So they have that, have that pride, black pride within themselves. And that's dope to see. So shout out to all the teachers out there. Definitely underpaid and underrated. We appreciate you guys. Um, yes. So if you've been on like social media and like TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all that, you can see that there's a certain like category or genre of entertainment that's been really popular or in the rise, which is anime. Mm -hmm. And today's topic is like, why has anime become so popular amongst like everybody? Mainstream. Yeah, it's pretty much mainstream now. Cause back in yeah. like, maybe like five years ago, nah, nobody really messed with anime. So while right. you could, you wanna start, you were a special guest and you already got, you, you got the Dewey on, man. All right, so, well, my guess is because, you know, when, anime started becoming a thing here in the, in the West and whatnot. So, you know, y'all know Toonami, all that stuff. All the stuff, you know, we run to school for. We still young. Our parents don't really understand it. We don't really got a say in it. We had maybe a few rappers here and there who talked about it, but it was still like, even when rap was not mainstream either, I don't mm -hmm. like it is now, it didn't have a, a voice. Now, everyone from that whole generation, I feel like got older. We all expressing ourselves in different ways. You got all the celebrities who love it expressing themselves you have social media to spread it be, be more aware everyone sees the creativity and they're like huh i want to get into that and northern culture is being more accepted because the superhero stuff flew off as well so that kind of helped so i think that's what really helped bring it into the front scene 
I, I got a different perspective. I think people just want to be in a hype train. They see a that, lot no, of no, no, that too. That big too. Facts. That's it's the big same thing facts. with the Marvel shit, bro. People, I'm Bobby knows I'm my rants with the MCU shit. I'm a side yes. track, but <laughs> it got to a point when because the superhero shit got popping, everyone thinks they know like Iron Man in and out of shit. Spider-Man, in and out shit. By the way, I get into mad debates with people with the recent Tom Holland Spider-Man saying, oh, he's the best Spider-Man, the most accurate Spider-Man. Shut he's up. not. Peter Parker. What do you say the most accurate? you say the most accurate? He's the most accurate one. And when people say that, I'm like, how is he the most accurate? Oh, he looks like he's in high school. This is where my nerd shit comes out. I'm sorry. But if you actually go into Spider-Man comics, you deadass will see Peter Parker. He does not look like a high school kid. He looks like, like a, a professor. Man. <laughs> a whole ass professor that you telling me that's the most accurate no i mean no. Th- there's different versions of spider-man so obviously like he's he has this versions of where i'm not a nerd so correct me if i'm wrong oh really um you are but, yes like, you are don't do that <laughs> yes no, you no, are. No, 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 I, no, i'm not I hate no, when no, niggas no, like him no, try no, to no, act listen, too cool listen, listen, if you're listen, like oh listen, i'm not no, a nerd no, no, listen, okay listen listen i'm not a comic book nerd anime for sure Okay. Comic okay, books, I, I don't know what I'm talking about all the time. Like, so from the that. stuff that I've seen, it's like there's different versions of him. So there's a version of where he's out of school, where mm-hmm. he's has like a real job, you know, obviously he's taking pictures, but like other jobs, like maybe like college and stuff like that, right? So he's an adult. So there's different versions. It depends on which one you want to interpret. Y'all just got on me for saying I'm not a nerd. Like, damn. Because you trying to... I, I can't say motherfuckers like you when we're talking about a topic that's like a niche. Like, I to give my answer, like, for example, like, when I was younger, I used to love watching wrestling, right? So, mm-hmm. but, you know, when you was a kid, watching wrestling was kind of like a niche thing to a lot of people. Like, even though wrestling itself was mainstream, uh, to like adult already audiences when it was like more like mature and yeah, it was more cursing and stuff like that. But like as a kid watching wrestling, a lot of kids didn't really like mess with it. Like now it's become super popular and cool to watch wrestling. So I think anime has, has kind of been similar. Like I feel like in the mid to late 2000s, like when anime and wrestling was like really popular, it was still kind of like, a lot of people wasn't really accepting of like people being fans of this stuff because it was seen, yeah it was seen as like childish or it was seen like it just had a negative connotation to it now me out of the three of us i am not a anime person like that so mm. i'm looking at it from a non-anime perspective if you guys want to explain the difference though between an anime and a cartoon uh, so we can establish that before we get into you know specific animes that's really helped it become popular. Well, real quick, Bobby, I wanna I wanna like reinforce your point about the, like anime and wrestling being niche. Like I said, it it, it sort of happened overnight because it's like with Afrobeat, but or I say yes. I should say African music. Shout it's out to like, Afrobeat. It had it. You already know, but mm-hmm. it was a sleep. It was like it had some hits back in the early two thousands and mid two thousands, but like. It wasn't popping like that. You didn't see that parties. You, it was mostly mm. hip hop, rap, reggae, and soca. That was mostly the thing. And even those two, reggae yep. and soca, they're still on the low at the time. But then either it could have been a sleeper hit, or someone like Chris Brown or something. Someone heard the right thing at the right time, and then it just took off. So it's the same thing with animes. The right people seen it. It took off. They bandwagon it, like Hashim said. Um, like even even back then. The only ones that were accepted were like Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, yeah. and other things yeah. like that. And people mm-hmm. took that and ran with it. Same thing as Avatar. Those are the few exceptions. But then when basically, people- so basically, what you're saying is like with any of these things, but especially like anime, once it becomes commercialized, when it, basically once it becomes you know marketed to be monetized, yeah, then it becomes like a cool thing to do. Yeah, because people. And we've talked about this multiple times on different episodes about things being trendy and how people, majority of people, the masses in large, like to go with mm-hmm. things that's already established. They like to go with different entertainment uh, entities that's already been 
you know, in the forefront of people's eyes in different forms, in different, right. you know, platforms. So once anime became a thing that people knew, like, oh, uh, like studios and all these different, like, high-end people with a lot of money can push, then it's like, oh, okay, cool. I love watching anime. When five years ago, fuck anime. You ain't here. You ain't say nothing. I, I think Twitter has played such a big role. I think oh, also, yes. like, yes. like um, now there's a lot of new anime that are more friendly to new people in the anime world, right? That's mm-hmm. just getting introduced. They're short. Um, like family friendly? Or... Pack. No. Definitely no, not. no, no, uh, <laughs> but like more like it's it's not long. It doesn't have like a really long backstory. It's, it's a lot of action. And I say mm-hmm. Twitter really ain't like made it go crazy because there's certain episodes that trend on Twitter that I've seen trend on Twitter in the past like two years. Um, I'm specifically I'm thinking of like Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer. So like a couple of years ago, um, I remember I was out and we see Demon Slayer trending on um twitter and usually you don't see this usually you don't see that anime trending on twitter like i've seen probably dragon ball super demon slayer jujutsu kaisen recently trending on twitter right one piece so everybody one piece also, seen, i don't look i don't look at that because i almost spoil it so i i don't pay attention to that I one piece is super long but i think oh, bobby it, yes. it did, it, did tr- it turned one time I think. it did yeah but i'm um, just saying i've seen i've wait, seen the trend before yeah, but with those, like, you see it, everybody's retweeting it. You see clips, and you're like, damn, that kind of looks good. Like, it looks clean. Animation looks good. Let me try to look into it. Or if you have friends that are watching it and retweeting and talking about it, you're like, I don't have, don't want to have the fear of missing out. So mm-hmm. you, um, you go watch it with them. You dropped it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you, you, you watch it knowledge, with them. You know? Um, she came yeah. down hard on the phone. <laughs> but I think, like, oh. I, it's Especially Twitter, um, definitely <laughs> oh, you sky- that? Okay. help help helps yeah help skyrocket uh, anime, especially for like new users. Yeah, fair point. So, like I said, back to my question though, like, uh, so what do you got? Like, can we establish the distinction between anime? Because like I know Wally, you mentioned comics, and you know a lot of uh, you know different marvel films different mm-hmm. even you know animes and mm-hmm. stuff they're built off of comic books but like in terms of like cartoons and anime like what is the major distinction because we've had arguments off camera about like argument, if specifically boondocks is a anime or just a cartoon so if cartoon. Wale, Ashim, you wanna Ashim that, wants to he wants to give him his it's a his cartoon decision. bro it's a cartoon I, I guess why? It why is it a cartoon? Definition. Why is it not an anime? It I might be a wrong definition. I, I refer anime as in it's made in Japan, right? Or there's this few anime that are like got a high school and stuff that are like based in like what Korean, oh, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. mostly anime made in Japan, subtitles Jap- Japanese. Boondocks is English, bro. They, they so black. there's no so there's no English sub no, no. for it's, it's, different anime. It's English sub. It's originally in Japanese. So there's no there's anime there's, there's that Spanish. has that is fully in English. That's you telling me. It's sub. It's it's it comes out in Japanese first. Don't but Boondocks is Japanese I'll get on you. inspired. Huh? Yes, it is. Boondocks is Japanese inspired. inspired. It's, not, it's not an anime. And they have bro. episodes where it's in Japanese. It's not an anime. Like, like, definition oh, yeah, legit. we definitely are putting up a poll for that. And, and comment, the, the definition anime, Twitter, please comment. Let them talk, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, say again. No, I was saying, please, if you're watching this on YouTube, first of all, like, comment, and subscribe. But also, leave a comment on it. what you consider an anime compared to a cartoon. But go ahead, Wale. So, the term, the anime is... A, a Japanese cartoon. That's basically like that's the simplest way to put to think about it. Or you say an animation, a, me, a piece of animated media, born from Japan. The production, everything was done in Japan. The voiceover, the animation, the art, the artwork, all that, just Japanese. 
How do we know Regina King was not playing Riley and Huey in Japan? Oh my god, bro! She could have been in Tokyo going crazy on both. Bro, of those she could she could have been in Tokyo. What are we talking but she's about? Speaking English, bro. I you know shout the out line, the legend. Bro. Shout out the legend Regina King because y'all, y'all got her fucked up. Y'all got Look, her fucked I, up. I would I would say the, a closer debate would if you said Avatar, I could be like okay, it's still a cartoon, but like I could say okay. I thought like, Avatar that's... was considered an anime. I said it's a cartoon. Well, you also have to take into consideration that so Samuel Jackson's a cartoon as well. Yes. Yes. But very heavily inspired by Asian culture because if an anime and cartoons, there is a like you could tell by the dialogue, the themes presented, and yeah, just overall the the animation style. Like there's a distinct difference between anime and and. Amer- like cartoons like in safe for the America. But see business. to me though, like I get what you're saying, but like to me, like animation style uh shows is similar mm-hmm. to like how music is become. Like music now is very genre bending. Like with certain artists and certain songs, it's hard to tell if it's pop, if it's R and B, or if it's hip hop. And it could be a combination of all three, mm-hmm. even though it's it's specified in one genre. It's a genre bending song or artist. And I think that could apply to animated shows as well. Because like certain like I'm not gonna I'm not here debating about if Rocket Power is an anime or mm. if Cat Dog or if like you know Dexter's Laboratory. I'm not com- I'm not comparing those and saying, oh yeah, those should be considered animes. But like show a show like Boondocks or a show like Samurai Jack. <laughs> Is is black shows, but they have Japanese <laughs> inspiration from it. So how is it not? I'll say we had Jack a black. Well, first show, off, sorry, yeah. I'm well. The main character. <laughs> the main character. He said Samurai Jack is black. With the fro. This this motherfucker right here. Like Bob, are you talking about from an aesthetic approach or yes? I guess you're talking about aesthetic approach, which is influenced. Because like for me, I, when you say that's what I'm saying. Of, uh, when I think of anime cartoon, I really think of the aesthetic, but all the fundamentals that come with it. So I think that's my that's where we uh, have confusion. So if you're talking mm-hmm. about purely aesthetic, yes, you would consider Boondocks by how the faces are drawn, they how they're animated. Yeah, you could say it's it's Japanese, but it's it's still not. It's just, it's, it's just a cartoon. The I different got, um, fight scenes also, that they have look, in it, like Bobby. Most I, I could probably say every anime is based off a of manga, so it's which is if for the people who don't know a Japanese comic book. Okay. Like or anime just in paper form. Mm-hmm. Moon Moon I don't think there's a book for Moon bro. Not yet. It will be though. Okay, but usually it comes before or at the same time. Like the anime I mean, usually Boondocks based is off an the original manga. though. It's an original show. It's not based on like something previous to it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this man is talking out his ass. What do you mean? How? How? Bro, I don't know why I'm debating if Boondocks is an anime right now, bro. What do you mean? I think I proved. Buddha, I think I, I, think is, I made a case. It is it is heavily influenced. I agree with you that the animation style or how it's drawn could be similar to anime, but like what we said, it is anime is like a Japanese cartoon made in Japan, spoken in Japanese. You might see some clips, um, English, Spanish, whatever you watch it in, but Boondocks to me. Is not anime. I'm not here for the Boondock slander whatsoever. It's not slander. I'm not slander, bro. It's not slander. <laughs> it's slander. I'm just, dis- I'm disgusted right now. That's it's crazy. not slander. It's not slander, bro. I'm John Witherspoon. I love you. John Witherspoon did not die to hear this Boondock slander. That's crazy, First bro. Of all, this man says Samurai Jack is black. I can't get over that. <laughs> Samurai Jack is black. You could have said a cool, bro, but nah, you said Samurai Jack. No, oh, excuse me. I was talking Jack. about the black character on Samurai Jack. 
Listen. Who? Can y- <laughs> Listen. Can we can we go into your favorite anime? My favorite please? anime? Uh you want me to go first or are you? You go first, I see. Uh One Piece, the Goat Piece, you know. It's oh, long. you a bias, you being I'm a wagon. bias, bro. You wait, make the most. No, 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 Bro, I, I can I can never remember my like top five, but I'll give you some animes. I got One Piece, Yu Yu Hakusho. Um, surprisingly, like maybe like four four years ago, I used to have them Deadly Sins in there, and then it just folded. It it folded. Yeah. So I'm not excluding that. Uh, I got Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, I'll throw in Bleach, Hunter X, no Hunter Hunter, and I watch sports anime. I'll throw in Haikyuu. Okay. All right. Now, real quick, I know you before you want to kill Bobby, but was, uh, I'm gonna run cool. through my list and I'm gonna say I don't know what I said. I don't I'm know what get you through, made. You know what you you know what you did. But this section is between mm-hmm. y'all two. We're gonna get to what Hashim said before about hype train. So my my top five are Dragon Ball Z, Yu Hagasho, mm-hmm. Roni Kenshin, uh, Bleach, and Full Metal Alchemist. Now I've heard Piece, Full Metal Alchemist is fire. Watch it. I'm telling you, if that was any anime anime to get you like you know, started, sorry. So everything we good both story, listed. good action, like it's, yeah, it, it does have Hopefully. all the elements. That's mm-hmm. it's funny too. The anime comedy can sometimes hit or miss, but when it hits, it does hit. It's uh depending on your taste, but I think you enjoy it. But what my contention with Hashim's list is two of the anime on that list that I do like mm-hmm. a lot, but they are the result of overhype and this straight up sack writing of people that don't know anime, and it's. Actually, on my list too is Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, and Hunter Hunter. Those are like a few. Which are like the three most famous ones y'all said. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't even say yeah. Well, three of the most that we said. Yeah, like, yeah. Because if you want to add more, is there's Naruto as well. That's another contender. But those, you could say that those are gateway anime, as in the anime you would suggest to people to get them really invested because they nail what anime can do, and they make a good solid impression. It can, and then it can introduce you to other shit that's more obscure, but could also be more deep and complex and even better. But the ones that me and Hashim listed, oh man, I love them. Question. Today. I have a two I have two questions. Yeah. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let y'all go yeah, for go ahead. two questions. Um first, do you guys feel like the main the biggest anime is like the ones you just said, like Dragon Ball Z's, the Naruto's, the Hunter Hunters, the One Pieces. Do you think yeah. like those, even though they're the biggest ones and the most famous ones, do you think those are actually the best ones compared to ones that aren't as uh, it, mainstream? It, it and depends wait, on. And two, wait, 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 hold on. And you go answer back and back. And two, um, in terms of like, we answer like the overall of like why anime is so popular. But for you guys personally, why do you? F- guys love anime so much and why do you guys you know because you guys listed off so many what is it specifically about the anime you listed that you love and appreciate so much about it so y'all answer those two uh, and uh, good i'm gonna ask the first question then go off on you then answer the second question <laughs> right? I, I, I didn't get to go off yeah go ahead before. go I'm ahead Got the floor. uh for, uh no not necessarily um it all depends on your taste because somebody that likes um slice of life which is more like a everyday life type anime they ain't gonna mess with shonen anime which is like action right mm-hmm. it's the same thing it's the same thing with like movies and stuff you have different genres and stuff <laughs> Why um, here? you have diff- you have different preferences right mm-hmm. um for me i i dabble in a little bit of everything i've and i'm this is segue into going off on you about right i've watched hey. Like a lot of anime, right? So I say I say I like One Piece just because it doesn't have the best action. Naruto got the best hands that I've seen in probably all the anime. That probably because they they be boxing there. They be they be boxing there. Like hand to hand combat. Yeah, they be boxing. Jujutsu Kaisen. All right, all right. Let me stop. But let me go off on about it. You said I'm a bandwagoner for 
liking One Piece. You cannot <laughs> get your words together. You cannot. I cannot watch nearly a thousand episodes of one anime, and you call me a bandwagon, bro. It's a thousand episodes. Nearly. You can't say this, bro. You can't say that. It depends bandwagon. when you got on One Piece, though. I see, like Bobby's right bro, in some regard. I, I, in some regard. I got on off of Toonami, and I've probably been watching it week You're by OG. week since, like, 200 episodes. You're OG. You're OG. So, yeah, he's not bad bandwagoning. That's a lot Wallet, of episodes watching man. one show. Uh, Attack on Titan should be in my top five. I just forgot about that. Uh, story, story-wise. Story-wise. Okay. Uh, um, and uh, what was the second question? Well, why, do like why, why, why do you personally love anime so much to the point where you're watching a thousand goddamn uh, episodes it's of one different, show? It's different. There's, uh, there's different stories. It's same like TV. It's just, I don't know, there's more action, different stories. You, you can find an anime for pretty much anything you like, which is like the same thing as TV. You just, it's your preference. Same thing as cartoons, your preference. Um, I like anime. My brothers watch anime. I love the Japanese culture. Um, it's it's just what I've grown up with, so that's why I know. That's what I like. Uh, I watch. I just want to say, like anime that I would put people on to get them into anime. I wouldn't put them on One Piece because people are just like, oh, that's way too many episodes. I ain't watching it. I put them on Jujutsu Kaisen for sure because that's that's short, sweet. Um. I can't watch what they like. I can't spell. <laughs> we got you. I can spell it for you. Um, but yeah, while I, you go, we got uh, we got ten minutes left. You go. Oh shit! Um, All right. So real fast. So what I consider the anime I listed the better than better than some now is the again, like you said, it comes down to taste. But if you ask me, like, why I think they're better than the ones that are out today, because sometimes they. See, now here's where getting people into anime is tricky because there's a lot of freaking talking, right? And when you want to get to the action, it, it has to get going. They do a lot of talking between this, that, and third. I feel like older anime got that right, whereas newer mm-hmm. anime, they will chat your ears off or you could just watch the news. When they get cracking, it lasts like a good, you know, two, three minutes. It's heat, but it's still, it doesn't hit as well as like Dragon Ball Z because when you got, you saw motherfuckers got hit Dragon Ball Z. Uh, they got hey. hit. I got something to say about Dragon Ball Z. You, if you watch Dragon Ball Z, fights last like thirty episodes. Wrong misconceptions <laughs> there. We're gonna have another video about anime no, no, myths and no, misconceptions. No. All right. <laughs> no, the Frieza saga, Frieza versus Goku. Yes. That ain't last a while, like ten episodes probably. Uh, okay, yes, it did, but that's listen, a long ass uh, fight. It, 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 it feels <laughs> longer episodes? when you watch it week by week. Listen, let me let me segue to let me segue to why I like anime a lot. Despite the mm-hmm. BS you said, right? It can it's way of storytelling. Like again, you're seeing if you want to simplify and say, is this cartoon? These characters with the funny hairstyles and outlandish clothing, they the characters have a different way and outlook at life that can teach you at a young, as small as, as little as eight years old. There's, they're not afraid to show you the world, the violence and whatnot, because Toonami, they had promos where you was telling you philosophical lines on how to walk through life, and the anime conveyed that properly. So that's one thing that got me into it. It's just like a magical wonderland that is like my teacher. You feel me? And like you said, introducing your Japanese culture, um, it wasn't like things you saw in TV for the most part, like a lot of cartoons that weren't like hitters like Dexter's Lab or Samurai Jack, they, they, they treat you like you were dumb, all right? And the action was not nothing compared to anime. Like it, it could, the smallest actions they did in the anime, it's like better than what you see in real life. Like a drop of water somehow looks like the best thing ever versus mm-hmm. looking at it in real life. Mm. So an- an- anime does motivate, cartoons don't motivate you. They don't, they don't inspire you like how, what cartoon inspired you, Bobby? Yo, Explain. yo, I wish we had more Samurai time. Jack? I'm about to, I'm about to black Samurai on Jack? you. Excuse me, nigga? Inspired you. What you say? Give me, give me a cartoon that inspired you, bro. What cartoon inspired yo, you? Yo, SpongeBob inspired me every episode, bro. There was always a message or a lesson in SpongeBob. Don't do this. Don't, just because SpongeBob's bro. the most famous cartoon ever. Wow. Don't act like it didn't inspire wow. you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Said, I can talk about multiple bro, episodes that inspire you. Bro. You could have said I love Avatar Last Airbender. 
That's crazy, Big fact. Bro. That would have been a Rocket great Power. Thing. Rocket Power was all about family and friendship. All right. Y'all got y'all gonna give me time. What did that inspire you to do, Bobby? Make a family at eight years old? No, it inspired me to keep those close around me close. You know what I mean? It was part of the reason I started like skateboarding. I didn't do skateboarding, but I was a big fan of Tony Hawk when I was younger. Rocket Power was a big reason of that. They made skateboarding look so cool and wholesome and like just so much fun and hanging out with the homies and all that stuff. Don't you know what? You know, Don't, I see you know where Bobby's what? coming from. It's not as it doesn't see the with rocket power and all that. They just they do it in their own way to to, to like yes. you know, support those themes. But I just for like for me, anime is more the way they portray those themes. It's not as in your face. It's, it can be in your face and subtle, but the way they have a certain elegance to it. It's not they, like they, you, you you can see their struggle. Yes, exactly. Matter of nah, fact, cartoons don't got struggles. If you don't mind, Mr. Krabs. Was I'm going to put a pinching. segment. Every goddamn episode, he's penny pinching. But now the cartoons ain't got no struggles. Get, get into the confession, man. Y'all get Mr. me. Mr. Crab owns a whole restaurant, bro. He just cheap. Real quick, Bobby Hashim, if you don't yeah. mind, I'm going to put a segment yeah. of what of like Tsunami's promos using anime to convey a whole message on life. I'm a, I'm a, if you don't mind. I'm not doing it. Do All right, it. cool. Do, do you, brother. Please, let's get into the HBCU confessions because Hashim just got me mad, bro. That's you, crazy. You call me a bandwagon for watching one season. Oh God, you picked the wrong person. But anyway, disrespecting uh, for all cartoons. We're gonna have a cartoon episode, by the way. We're definitely having a cartoon episode. We can... <laughs> man, I sh- he looking like a whole highlight. This man talking about this cartoon. Man defended Yo, cartoon. I'm mad first now. Of all, I, I, I still, I still can't get over the fact you said Samurai Jack is black. I, oh my God, you said Samurai I meant Jack Afro is Samurai. Black. I meant Afro Samurai. That's what I was talking about. My fault. That's anime, bro. Yeah, I meant Afro Samurai. That's that was my fault. My bad, bro. That's oh, bro. All right, confessions, this, please, bro. please. Oh man, all right, <laughs> all right. Confession. There's no, it's, confession. It's, 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 <laughs> it's from no particular cause. It didn't say. Um, <laughs> is it is it weird that my professor has a crush on me? And two days ago, he sent me an email asking if I would like to go to a museum with him. He's only five years older than me. An A is an A. What's your opinion? An A is an A. Kilo wow. She. Kilo she. Otibayo de. What? <laughs> She's. Well, hey, she said an I feel A like this- is an A. I'm dead. I feel like what? this happens in college a, a decent amount, not gonna lie. Wait, okay, so does, does she specify, does the female student specify how old she is? Because if she I is, mean, you can, you can give a range of 18 to 21, eh, 17 to 21. Because if I'm she's like under the age of 21, this is creepy as fuck. Um, this I'm, is creepy let's say in she's general, 20. because like, <laughs> you shouldn't be, your professor shouldn't be asking you to go out on a date when they're your professor you know what i'm saying like right, but you know if you're her some professors be looking you know be looking good but just as a student though of them and you taking their class that's it you know what i mean that's very unprofessional the conflict of interest now in saying that though how bad does she want the a is her decision oh, no, bro. so put yourself in that position say it's like some bad um, female professor, I get the A if I got to, you know. I, wow. I'm still putting the work, though. Wow. Oh yeah, you are gonna put in work, all right? Wow. You know what, y'all? I mean, mean, Jesus. I, wow. So you, you, you. If your professor's like, hey, if you want an A, she look like who's a celebrity crush? Jay, you, well, got? you know what? Hold on. You hold know on. mine already. Don't do that. Nah, I'm telling them all it. Oh, so, so celebrity crush. Uh. Right, off the top of the dome, Rihanna. Ah, right, she's your professor. Three, and she emailed you, it's like, hey, you want to go to the museum? And you're going to say, nah, I'm going to study. In- well, you know what? Yesterday. She's, like, not too much older than me. So Five years. Five years. Oh, let's see. Let's see. I'm in college. I know I'm legal at that point. So, you know what? <laughs> well, no, nah, I feel nah. like... I feel... <laughs> I feel... <laughs> Sam <laughs> said, "I know I'm legal at that point. Y'all are, y'all are, y'all but look, are it, it, I don't think I think it's more on the professor because 
obviously the the student is gonna you know do what they gotta do to get that grade you know y'all don't think it's kind of predatorial y'all don't think it's kind of predatorial that a, a male professor who's five years older than their student is trying to take them on a date to the museum nah that's that's wrong in all aspects okay I'm just, I'm just like, cause we're joking about it, but like all jokes aside, like that's some predatory shit though. Like he might, you unless, know what unless, though? Uh, he's taking unless, her unless. to the museum. So he's trying to make it seem like it's an institutional or educational thing. Unless, but listen, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. It's fucked late. up. He knows what he's doing. Well, she started college late and she's like 25. Like she went, did something and then she went back to college. She's 25, she's 30. I think that's, that's not that's, a like that's, that's not work. a likely scenario, bro. That's not like it's likely she's nineteen twenty. She's in her sophomore junior year. She's struggling in her chemistry class or whatever, and <gasps> she's trying to get that A, and he's she trying to get that A S S. So oh, yeah. yeah, this well, this uh, this has predatory I mean, vibes all, written all over it. We got uh, uh, I'll, I'm just gonna close it right there on that on that take. Uh, I feel like we should definitely do a part two because I feel like we need to touch on all parts. Um, like but, he's trying to. Yeah, so uh, first, thank you, Wale, for coming down uh, and showing out, you know, giving me your opinions and stuff. Very much appreciated. Uh, and thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Um, Watch us on a streaming platform, Spotify, Apple Music, uh, whatever you listen to, um, and give us feedback. Let us know what happened. Let, let us know what you think about anime and how it's risen. Eight, seven, six, five, four. yourself and create your own destiny. Don't fear failure.